Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech and today I'm going to show you how to soft solder copper. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and today's lesson on how to solder copper will be a basic one as this video is intended for beginners. We're going to begin by cutting our pipe and today we are working with half inch. We're going to take our pipe cutter and set it into place and every three full spins or so on the pipe we can tighten down a quarter inch on this knob and we will repeat this process until our pipe is cut. When you cut copper you create these things called burrs and they must be removed. This is a deburring tool and this is used to shave off those burrs. The key to a proper solder joint is preparation and our next step is we're going to take our abrasive material of choice and sand down our connections. We're going to sand down the inside of our fittings and the outside of our pipes. Once we have completed evenly sanding down the pipe and fittings, we can apply a thin layer of flux on the outside of the pipe and the inside of the fittings. Flux is used as it helps to remove oxidation from the metals that are being joined, helps the solder to flow and adhere by something called capillary action. Solder will race towards the heat source and fill in every gap along the way as flux is used to facilitate that process. Alright, so I fit my pipes together and I did lay out a fireproof mat underneath just in case I have excess solder that falls down. You can set up a wet rag or a bucket of water. We have finished preparation for the pipe and we can begin to light our torch, but before we do... So the idea here is to heat up our fitting and we're going to heat up our fitting from the bottom as heat rises. So as we heat up our fitting, our solder, while when we're applying it, will actually be sucked in. The flux that we applied helps our solder to flow and to adhere. And once we lay down our solder, it actually gets sucked in. We're gonna use our torch to heat up our pipe and we're gonna use our pipe to melt the solder. We're not gonna use the torch to melt the solder. Solder is a fusible metal alloy and when it is melted, it is used to create a permanent bond between metal work pieces. Today we will be using 95.5 solder and that is lead free. Today we will be using map gas as it is known to burn hotter and faster. Let's light up this torch. Alright guys, here goes nothing. Let's light it up. You can just tap the solder. See if it's ready to burn. It's important to not disturb the solder while it's wet. Let it cool off on its own. Give it a few minutes and then afterwards you can take a damp rag or a dry rag and clean the excess flux off of the joint. Now 
Now that is a beautiful thing right there. And that's it. You are now ready to solder your first joint. Now you really don't need too much solder. Since we're using half inch, rule of thumb is you only need a half inch of solder. If anybody found this video helpful or interesting, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.